Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. 100 year old Dabir Chowdhury said he would walk 100 laps around his garden whilst fasting to raise money for Covid victims. This unsung hero, this fearless pensioner pledged a thousand pounds which he managed to raise in nine hours. And now he's taken it one step forward. Yeah, see, see, what, see what I did there. I don't yeah. get paid enough for this. Alright, fair enough. And he says he's raising for 26 different charities and he says he's gonna keep walking as long as the donations keep coming in. I got encouragement to walk same distance not only 100 times more than 500 times I will do it and I'm glad that you have supported this for the cause of virus. Thank you very much everybody. Imagine if you had a grandpa like this. I mean what a legend and what a great role model he would be for your kids. Dad I don't want to do homework. I'm tired. Tired? Your grandpa's just finished walking a hundred laps and it's not even 8am mate. Dad I can't find a job. You can't find a job? Your grandpa's just raised £5,000 and he hasn't even left the house yet. Boy, by the time uncle is gonna be done, he'd probably have six packs on his legs mate. I don't know about you but there's some uh, Benjamin Button business going on here. Yep, you heard me. Look at him. He's a hundred and he's got no glasses. He's walking without a walking stick and let's face it, he's got all of his front teeth. <sighs> they used to tell me, don't mess with the uncles. I didn't believe them. They used to tell me about their war stories. I didn't accept them. They used to tell me to be quiet in the mosque. Be quiet. I didn't listen. And now this uncle is single-handedly taking on the COVID crisis. If Donald Trump, Mr. Donald Trump and his lapdog Boris Johnson had had Mr. Darbir in their COVID meetings, this lockdown would have been over about a month ago and we'd all be sitting around having barn. Yeah that's right, this is a real life queue in East London for barn mate. May Allah bless our elders and grant us the patience to serve them and benefit from the experience. For the Prophet said, the best of you are those who live the longest and do the best deeds. And he also said, He is not one of us who does not show mercy to our young ones and respect to our old ones. And I end with the dua that Allah makes us people that make the most of our existence and that we spend our lives benefiting and helping people and earning His pleasure. Ameen. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Oh yeah, if you want to donate to Uncle's cause, I'll put the link in the description. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Where was I? Oh yeah. Assalamu alaikum.